Lord, we thank you for this day. I want to say one more thing about showing. I remember the first time that Desi started to play, and I didn't realize that the drum was not ready at that time for the down. And I said, Trey, you get on your feet, drum. And I, and, I, and I saw people start looking around that didn't remember when we first came to the spring. A little 15-year-old boy with no training went on there and start playing the drum because his daddy was preaching. He said, went on there and start playing. I, I looked around and I said, no training. Did nobody know training to play the music? Went on there and start playing. And Brother Darren, every person I want to encourage you today. Lord, I want me to encourage you today. Every person that gets blessed because of the music, a blessing goes in your account. He says, Lord, the prayer. Long after you. Long after you forgot about what you done. Long after you forgot about the drum. Long after you forgot. They said that prayer is up to y'all on the road. Amen, somebody. And put up and keep on ringing. Grace will keep on giving. You don't, you don't even know my grace will be a power on your behalf. It's the first time you did. 25 years ago. Hey! Oh my God. You can't beat God again. He said, Oh, God, the new God. I sometimes I said, Pastor T, do you remember when I said, No, I don't remember that. Lord, I need to look God. Praise is still be about it on your behalf. Give God some praise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Father God, we thank you for the kingdom building process. It began seemingly sometimes so small in our efforts to do right to do what you call us to do. The small things that you allow us to, to do make impacts in big ways in the life of your people. So God, we thank you right now for allowing us this privilege of time to share your word with your people. Thank you, God, that you've allowed me in your and I have studied to show myself a true unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly divine the word of truth. Speak, Lord, even right now, that we may hear with clarity, recall, by the will of Holy Ghost. Help them thank you. Give us, God, your word in a way that it makes an impact on the life of the hero, and we will have fulfilled what you have called us to do. Speak, for even as Samuel said, I serve a pure thing, and we will obey. Help us to run and not be weary, that we walk in our faith. We ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We, we will be at St. John's Gospel, a very familiar passage of Scripture. Just this week, I was uh, in Bible study talking with some of them while you turn into St. John, first chapter. Uh, I was talking to some of the uh, students of the, of the Bible class, and, and uh, there was trying to be some discouragement in, in, uh, in their lives, and, and they were uh, talking to people that were saying things about their life and trying to discourage them. I immediately thought about this word that we're going to, to share today. Uh, Sister Kathy sings very well a song that we all like. He knows my name. Uh, he knows more than that. He knows everything about us. Amen. And if he knew everything about me, that, 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 can, can, can I go there? And still desire that I follow him. 
then I'm not gonna worry about what nobody else. Y'all want to go? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say that again. I, 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 if, if he knows everything about me that he knows, and I know he knows that, and he still called my name, David, to follow him, I'm not worried about nobody who knows some stuff about me because they don't know it all, but he knows it all. He still told me to follow him, so I ain't worried about the other crowd because I know the one who knows everything told me to follow him. And he got a hell of a hell to put me in. And you know I have a hell of 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 a not only did he say this by the way I used to be, he told me to follow him. And if he told me to follow him, I ain't worried about nobody talking no crazy mess. All I'm going to say is, when they don't like me, when they don't like me, when they talk about me, when they want to say something crazy, you ain't got no hell in hell to put me in so. Now, when we used to hang out under the tree, 
Yeah, 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 y'all don't want to go. There's some stuff that went on under the tree that shouldn't have went on. Y'all don't hear me. Now, I don't know about y'all, but a few of us done hung out under the tree. Come on, somebody. He said, not only do I know your name, man, I saw you yesterday when you were under that thin tree. Now, he didn't say what you were doing under the tree. He said, but I saw you when you were under the tree. And I'm going to tell you right now, some stuff on Most select group around him 
Sister Kathy, and the Bible says that he first went to Andrew, and the first thing that Andrew did, Sister Kathy, was run back and get his brother Peter. The Bible says by John, if you go back to the 40th chapter, bring your way on up, I'm not going to read it when you get home. The Bible says that if you go back and you'll see that Sandra, Andrew was the first one that he just started following Jesus. And the Bible says he went back and got his brother, Peter, and Peter began to follow Jesus. And the Bible says, thank you for being right there, and the Bible says when, oh, Simon came up, he said, oh, Simon, Bajon, Sanjo, yeah, he had a nickname for him. Y'all know, I ain't talking about nobody here, but I'm talking about the other folks. They, they had a name that they called him in the work. I ain't talking about nobody here, but the name that was in the world was a, was a name that represented some stuff you may have been doing. Uh-huh. Uh, some, some, some activity that you may have been involved with. Yeah. yeah. And, and he said, the first thing, good God Almighty, I need to do. And yeah, I said, uh, I need to change Peter's name. Yeah. And I, I can't no longer call him Simon. Because Simon was involved with some stuff that he don't want to be associated with no more. Ain't God all right? He said, because you're going to be preaching later on. See, God sees you, David. God sees you out there in a place in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. When he looked at him, this old man called Simon, he saw Peter. They saw Simon, but he saw Peter. He said, I don't know why. I got something I want you to do. Ain't God all right? God sees you somewhere in your future, and you look much better. And you look much better. Ain't God all right? Don't worry about it. You keep on calling you Simon. You answer to Peter. It's not what they call you, but what you answer. You need to go back to be a witness. 
Now remember that, remember these boys was in partnership and venture did all of them was in. Can I, can I know that? So now we got Andrew and we got Peter following Jesus. They said, I know somebody else that needs some help. Can I talk to you? Are you going to be a witness? I got some partners in business that you can I got some of my business so say, John, that ain't safe. I got some people that are under my authority. Uh, 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 Mr. Allison, that ain't safe. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got some business colleagues that ain't safe. Well, where they at? Under the tree. Y'all don't see where I'm going, do you? I think y'all see where I'm going. We need to make a little detour. Jesus, let's go under the tree. And, 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 and I demand that Jesus, Jesus said, I already have seen under the tree. Y'all see where I'm going? So then we find that Philip, he's the third one, started following Jesus. Philip said, wait a minute, I got a brother that needs to follow Jesus. What's his name? The thing. Go get it. Philip was down, know where to get it from. The under the tree. Yeah, yeah, y'all see where I'm going. I I ain't I, I, listen, the Bible don't tell us what's going on on that tree. Some even speculated and prayed on that because it was a cool spot. He could have been. But I'm just saying that most of y'all were praying on that. <laughs> no. Pray you didn't get caught. Jesus. Before he gets to Jesus, he calls his name. 
the manual of Israelite indeed. He said, man, how you know me? How you know my name? How you know my name? You ain't never met me. Everybody in there, how you know my name? He said, man, I don't know what your name is. That's a text here. You know, we sang that song, you know my name? Jesus know my name? The text is, man, Jesus know more than your name. He said, man, I know more than your name. He said, I saw you on that tree. When he told him that, he convicted his heart. He said, you are. You just said you are. You are. I come today to tell you just plain and simple things. Don't you worry when you come out of darkness and you come into the marvelous light. Don't you let no devil pull you back in the darkness. Amen. Amen. When you start following Jesus, you keep following him. And don't you let, listen, if anything, you pull them into the light. But don't you let them pull you into the dark. Amen. Amen. Number five. Let me talk about this in the light. Let me go home. Why is it that I tell a show time there's nothing in the Bible just to take up space? There's nothing in the Bible just to take up space. Why is it that Jesus will be identified him as an Israelite and be? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked that. I need you to go back to the 12 tribes of, of, of Jacob, okay? Uh, 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 12 tri tribes under Isaac, I'm sorry. Do you remember that Isaac's son, uh, uh, Esau, and what was the other one's name? Jacob. You remember that Jacob was a deceitful, Y'all remember that? Yeah, yeah, some of them, some of when he said, go to see, he said, some of them clean them. So you remember that Jacob, uh, uh, two sons, uh, I mean, Jacob was, was a twin to who? And you remember that he tricked Esau out of his, yeah, I got some scholars in here. He tricked him out of his, and he paid for that. He, he went to his uncle Laban, and I won't go tell the whole story, and stayed there some 14 years and had to pay. He, 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 he got tricked. But he, he saw a good looking lady there by the name of Rachel, and he wanted to marry her. And, and, and his uncle said, Yeah, I'll tell you, well, if you'll, if you'll give me, it was up on the mother's side, not through the bloodline, I ain't gonna get into all that. But, but he says, if you'll, if you'll give me, uh, uh, seven years of service, I, I'll give you my daughter. He expected Rachel, and, and there was two daughters. There was one named Leah, and, and Leah wasn't as attractive as 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 as, as Rachel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we've told you that a man likes what he sees, a woman likes what she hears. And, and there's somebody. Amen. So, so, so he worked seven years. Uh, the trickster who tricked his brother out of his birthright worked seven years. And after seven years, he says, "Yeah, I promised you that I would, I would give you my daughter." They, they get, they get ready at the wedding. He takes the veil off to salute his bride and his leader. The trickster got. The deceitful one got. The deception of God. The scene. I'm going somewhere. I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you what he said, what he said about the thing. And then, so then he says, You tricked me, Laban. You, Uncle Laban, you tricked me. He said, I'll tell you what you can do. You want Rachel? To give me several more years of service, I'll give you Rachel. He agreed. And he worked seven more years, and during that time, the Bible says Laban is blessed because he had the blessings of God on his life, even though he had stroked them. He had the blessings of God on his life, and the business went good. But what he did, stay with me. Jacob repented of the wrong he had done. Amen. 
So that's why I talked about all that truth. He repented of the wrong that he had done. And he says, I'm going home to make it right with my brother. And when he and when he was on the way, he had to wrestle, somebody know the story, with an angel all night. And when he got done wrestling with the angel, wrestling with all the stuff he had done wrong, wrestling with poetry, wrestling with a still but wrestling with all the mess he had got himself into. I imagine he felt like he was on that tree. Y'all don't hear me. He said, he said, he said, I will not let you go, angel, until you bless me. He said, no more, stay with me. Will you be referred to as Jacob the Tristan? But you'll be referred to as Israel. Striving with God. Your name will no longer be Jacob, which means the Tristan. But your name will be Israel. Striving with God. So now watch this as I prepare to close. I told you there is something that not only Jesus knew his name, he knew him under the tree. And he also knew his heritage. He don't know what you say, but people will always refer to you as I know you. You be a rich and humble grandson. I know just because I've been there. You go to some jobs and you'll never be able to grow up. I go to some jobs and I lay them all out and say, well, send your dad about here to talk to me. He will never grow up some folks. You always gonna be Richard Hogan. Grace. Jesus here says, I know more about you than you think I know. He said, I know your heritage. I know the seed. You are a seed of Jacob, who was the traitor, whose name was changed to Israel. Say, so you are the Israelite in me. Now watch what he says. Y'all in that scripture? Though the seed, and I'm going to bless somebody right now. Somebody had to break alcoholism off their family. Somebody had to break co-opting off their family. Somebody had to break the, the, the street off their family. Watch this. He said that you're an Israelite here. You got the seed of Jacob in you. You got the seed of a trickster in you. But you done turned to be an Israelite indeed. And I look at you and ain't no doubt. Ain't no deceit in you. Don't you worry about what folks say about you. If I ain't no deceit, I ain't the ill seed. You got it, baby, I'm a homer. You bring that, baby, I'm a homer. Your mama make me a homer. But that ain't in you. He said, I see you, and you ain't got no deception in you. Come on.